Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are 10 tips to help work with the painting tools in Photoshop. First, to quickly change the brush size, with a brush tool selected, we can press the left bracket key repeatedly to decrease the brush size and the right bracket key to increase the brush size. Or we can hold down the left or right bracket keys to continuously decrease or increase the brush size. To increase the brush hardness, we can add the shift key to the right or left bracket keys. The second way, which I find is much quicker, is to use the heads up display. On Mac, hold down the control and option key, then drag left or right in order to decrease or increase the diameter of the brush and up or down to decrease or increase the hardness of the brush. On Windows, the shortcut is control alt and right click, then drag left or right to decrease or increase the brush diameter and up and down to decrease or increase the brush hardness. Next, to change the opacity of a painting tool, tap a numeric key to add the percentage of the tap number. So one equals 10%, two is 20%, etc. Zero equals 100%. Tapping two numbers quickly will give you that exact amount. So for example, five plus four is 54%. Just be careful because if you have a tool selected that doesn't have an opacity setting in the options bar, then the shortcut will change the opacity on the layers panel. To change the flow, which is the speed at which the paint is laid down, add the shift key and type a number or two numbers quickly. One warning, if you have a brush selected that has the airbrush attribute enabled, then the flow is affected by default and you need to use the shift key to change the opacity. To sample a color while painting, hold the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows and click in the image with the eyedropper. To reset a tool's options to their defaults, right click or command click on Mac on the tool icon in the options bar and choose reset tool. To constrain your brush strokes to a horizontal or vertical line, press and hold the shift key and paint a stroke. To have Photoshop draw straight lines between two points, click once with a painting tool, then press and hold the shift key and click again. If you see the precise cursors icon, the icon that looks like the crosshairs, instead of the brush size when using a painting tool, the cap locks key is enabled on the keyboard. Disable caps lock to view the brush size icon. To toggle between painting and erasing using the current brush settings, hold the tilde key. If you're on a background layer, then holding the tilde key will paint with a background color. To create smoother paint strokes, increase the brush smoothing amount. Press Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and tap a numeric key to add the percentage of the tap number or tap two numbers quickly with the Option or Alt key held down to give you the exact amount. The brush stroke may be painted a bit more slowly, but it will result in a smoother brush stroke. To improve accuracy when changing the direction of a stroke, use the gear icon to enable pulled string mode. You can move the brush within the magenta circle without drawing a paint stroke until the brush touches and moves the circle. To create fluid, precise paint strokes that simulate pressure sensitivity, it's probably easiest to first create a path using the pen tool or any of the shape tools with their options set to create a path. Then make sure that the painting tool that you want to use is set up with the correct options, such as brush size and opacity, and select a foreground color from the color picker. Then on the paths panel, Choose the flyout menu and select stroke path. Choose the desired tool and check simulate pressure and Photoshop will stroke the path. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.